Check out some of the rainfall reports across the Fargo-Moorhead area. Some folks over an inch and a half just north of Moorhead and Meadows and Moorhead. Uh, so there's more on the way. I'll be talking about some rain in your forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Back to weather now, and Jarris, you showed us the rain kind of mm -hmm. moving out of the region, but we're wondering when is the sunshine going to come <laughs> I know, back? I think a lot of folks already <laughs> want it. Like, we oh, do. <laughs> one day rain is, is <laughs> enough for enough. us. Yeah, so, exactly. It ended up being just a cool one, too. Check out it some did. of these highs. Only 67 today in, in Fargo Moorhead, 64 in Grand Forks. A lot of 60s, and how about Rolla? 59 today for the high here. We're still in August, folks. We want some summer weather. We're not ready for the next season, although we do have a wonderful fall up here. Oftentimes, it's just a little too short. Temps right now, very similar to what we had for highs. So still some 60s across the area. A few of us near 70, Wapaton, uh, Aberdeen at 71, uh, and uh, Bismarck right now at 74, 55 in Rolla. Tonight's overnight lows, I'm expecting us to drop down to some 50s. I think the cloud cover and still some light rain will just keep us uh, just a little bit warmer than what it could be if we had some clearing sky out there. And some of us may hover near 60 by tomorrow morning. Fargo-Moorhead, fairly overcast right now. There are some showers just been popping up just south, uh, south of us here in southern half of the valley. Not much for wind. We're at 64, dew point at 63, and in Grand Forks, similar conditions, just some light rain in the area at the moment. We're at 60, with the dew point at 55. So here's a look at those showers. I showed you that in first look. So just a few spotty showers, southern parts of the valley, a little bit of light rain in the north, but we are watching that line of uh, stronger thunderstorms between Bismarck and Minot, kind of moving toward east central parts, the parts of North Dakota. So uh, that did have a history of producing a little bit of hail and some gusty winds. The intensity of those storms is tapering off though, but uh, still watch for maybe some heavier rain with that line of some thunderstorms if it holds together here for a while. Overnight tonight into tomorrow, there will be some areas of some rain, but mainly turning over to some showers by tomorrow morning. Here's 6 a.m. with future cast. See that it's still kind of sprinkled across the area. Tomorrow, midday into the afternoon, this will turn into just very light showers. Just maybe some sprinkles for some areas. It could get a little bit blustery in just a few places over east central North Dakota as winds pick up out of the north. Not super windy, but enough if you're working outside, you may notice little win. And then Wednesday, a quiet day, but we may hold on to some of that cloud cover for a while. Tomorrow's wind trend will just be picking up just a little bit. I think it'll be around 10 to 15 by midday with some gusts up to around 20. A few pl places in east central North Dakota may have some gusts up to around 25. I'm kind of thinking around the Jamestown area. So rain showers for tomorrow. It'll be kind of cloudy and cool. We'll be looking at uh, some upper 60s to near 70 again. So similar temperatures. Kirsten, you did ask for some sunshine. We will, we will eventually get a little bit here, but the start of the work week is just kind of cool, kind of wet, quiet Wednesday, and then I'll show you in the seven day. We do have some warmer temps heading our way. I know you aim to please, and I know yeah. you'd like to get out back on the water too, yes. so nice to see that sunshine. Mm. Thank you, Jared. Insulin 56. assistance. Back to weather tonight. The rain kept our temperatures low today. Really low, it yes. felt, Jared. Will this be the trend for the next week ahead? You know, not the whole week, but I think the first half here is just going to be a little bit cooler, even the next couple days. Tomorrow we may just hang in those 60s. A little wind will uh, be picking up out of the north. Expect some scattered showers. Not expecting much in terms of rain for tomorrow. So if you're still hoping for more, there will be some out there. It's just not going to be as much as what some of us saw today. Staying fairly cloudy for tomorrow. We're up to 69. 72 on Wednesday. Looks like most of the day we may see a little bit more cloud cover than sunshine, calling it mostly cloudy. A few showers and thunderstorms will be possible on Thursday up to 77. As of right now, Friday's looking a little quieter with high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s there for your Saturday with a few thunder showers. Still hints of a little bit warmer air by the end of the forecast. Could have a nice little close to the weekend. 84 for Sunday, 86 by Monday next week. And then Grand Forks, our 70 forecast is looking similar. 68 for tomorrow. Watch for some scattered light showers out there, mostly cloudy on Wednesday. Some scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles on your Thursday forecast. A quieter Friday, but notice temperature trend generally is going up. Just have to wait till the end of the forecast period for that shot back into the 80s. All right, thank you, Jared. Coming up next in trending. People living in a Virginia neighborhood woke up to find free televisions on their doorsteps. Sounds like a great gift until you see older box sets left at their homes. Uh, not such a good idea then. The things got a whole lot weirder too when you see the person who dropped the tube TVs off. Take a look. No need to adjust that dial. You are in fact seeing a person with a TV set on their head laying an older set on someone's front porch and then just walking off. The bizarre discovery happened yesterday morning. The outdated boxes were found at more than 50 homes. This is the second time the TV set mystery played out. The same thing happened in a different neighborhood last August. This requires a lot yeah. of coordination and someone with way too much time on their hands. I think I have one of those old TVs <laughs> laying around like that. You and me both. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
start to your bathtubs. For the first time in 20 years, a bizarre bathtub racing tradition has returned to Moravia, New York. Teams race modified bathtubs on wheels as part of the town's Fillmore Days Festival. The zany tradition started in 1974, but went on a hiatus after a crash injured someone in 1999. Locals lobbied to return to the race of the festival, but with some changes to increase safety. Instead <laughs> of racing downhill, the tub teams compete along a 300 feet flat stretch. Steering and braking systems are now required. <laughs> now that's some good, clean fun. <laughs> but um, bump, pun intended. <laughs> Who knew there uh, had to be so many rules for bathtub racing? Yeah. I think I've seen some of those old <laughs> racing videos of that, and that did look pretty dangerous. Yeah, it probably <laughs> did get a little aggressive. Uh, a group of California first responders had some fun at the fairgrounds over the weekend. This is a look at the T-Rex race that took place at the Nevada County Fair on Sunday. The hometown heroes raced each other around a dirt-covered track. While well, everyone gave a valiant <laughs> effort, the Grass Valley firefighters came out on top with a narrow win by engineer Dylan Coward. I don't know why I think those T-Rexes are the They funniest. never get old. No matter what they're doing, I, I just can't wait to see even more shoveling from people. <laughs> just, just come this winter. I'm guessing that's our uh, winner right there. Mm. When we come back, bringing Disneyland to Moorhead, where you can meet princesses and help raise money for a foundation that makes dreams come true. I'll have a last look at those showers and storms in your area. Here in the Metro, you can get your sweet fix tomorrow with a fairy tale inspired fundraiser. I love this one. It's called Addie's Royal Cupcake Stand. All the proceeds go to the Sunshine Foundation, which grants wishes for kids. This is video of last year's event. It all started with Addie in 2013 after she got her dream trip to Disney World to see all the princesses. She had so much fun, she wanted to give back. You can get your fill of cupcakes, lemonade, and princesses tomorrow from 3 to 5.30 at First International Bank and Trust in Moorhead. WDAY anchor Amy Unruh will be there dressed as Queen Elsa, and Storm Tracker meteorologist Lydia Bloom will be there dressed as Belle. Always a great event. It looks really fun, and I, I even saw some cupcakes <laughs> roaming around in the building here today, and so. I, I have seen Belle's dress that was hanging. <laughs> it's like, I was wondering like, what, what that was. For? <laughs> like, it looks like Belle, but yeah. it, it sure. is. Anyway, here's a look at those showers and and some thunderstorms over parts of the area. Watch for that line of uh, thunder and storms. This kind of northeast of Bismarck may have some, some rain with that. Also, the Perseid meteor shower is kind of going on. It peaks tonight, but it's going to be kind of cloudy, but you can still catch it here throughout August. Very good. Thank you, Jared. We'll see you back here at 10. Get 10.